Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, welcome. We're about to get into a Stranger Things 4 Volume 2 recap. If you guys haven't watched it already, come back to the video because we're going to get into spoilers. So I wish Josh could have been here for this because Josh is a big super fan of the show, but I'm glad I have Justin here because you also love the show and I'm not going to lie, bro. I didn't know you even watched the show until this season came out. That's embarrassing, dude. Like me and you have never talked about Stranger Things, I believe, until this season, which is I like, feel like we have. Maybe and but but yeah. So one of my favorite scenes from these last two episodes, bro, when Eddie was playing the the Metallica song on top of the roof, kudos, bro. That might be one of the best scenes in season four. You know, what I mean, I feel like I feel like Eddie should have died there though. Like if Eddie died during that Metallica scene on the roof, ooh. nah, they couldn't have done that. You don't think so? He was on too high of a high. You know what I mean? Like as a character. Like, that was, like, his peak moment. Like, you know, shredding the guitar or whatever. Oh, so don't have him die yeah, at his Yeah, you peak. can't kill him on his peak. What did you think of uh, Max's, uh, they faked out Max's death? Do I you didn't like that. You didn't like that? I thought so she should have died. Yeah. Yeah, me too, man. I don't know why. I think, like, you already faked that out in episode four, right? Because you know when you, like, rewatch shows? Yeah. What's a show where, like, somebody, you know, like, you, you watch, it. like, the end of Breaking Bad and you're like, oh, damn, here's where fucking Walt dies. Spoilers, by the way. Yeah, if you haven't, we, we have a funny story about that. By the way, yeah, you, got, we, you hella got spoiled on that show because we were folding clothes in your room, and, and you're like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna wait for the final episode," or it's not that. And, and it was some showed it. like news station like showed the scene of him dying on the floor, and me and you were just like, "No, yeah, like it, it's at the fucking news station, bro." But yeah, like you know when you watch that and you're like, "Oh, here comes this moment." or whatever mm -hmm. i feel like if you rewatch that episode now like it doesn't mean anything because you know she doesn't die yeah you're right man they I, just kind of like pump fake you so it's like good for the first watch but that's about it they they pump faked us twice though like she they though she was gonna die in episode four didn't and then like she died at the end but didn't yeah true so that's kind of what made it worse for me is that they pump faked us already i think season i think episode four though was a uh, was a good pump fake because, like, it, it kind of made sense. Like, oh, she's about to die, and then they find a way to, you know, to get her right. out, and she escapes. But this one, like, she literally dies, and then Eleven was like, no. And then, yeah, that, that just, it, it didn't, yeah. I really hope for season five they give Eleven hair again, dude. I'm so sick of seeing bald Eleven, dog. You know what I mean? Like, can we cut it out, bro? She had hair in season two and three. Yeah, but it, wasn't it, like, just really short? Like, wasn't, like, season four, like, the first season? No, season where... three was, um... No, season two was like short, like, like neck length. Mm -hmm. Then season three was like shoulder ish length. I think it was like a little bit past shoulders, maybe. I don't know. I I liked Steve, Nancy, Robin, uh, Dustin, Eddie, Eleven, Mike, Will, Jonathan, like the. Uh, I fucking forgot their friend's name. The one that works at Surfer Boy Pizza. I mean, even he was like, you know, funny. There wasn't like a Hopper, Joyce. I feel like they tied up the Russia storyline really well. The Demi Gorgons were cool to see again. Like the Demi Dogs, right? Like the Demi Dog was in there, right? I think it's I believe demo. so. Demo. Like, demo Dog, yeah. yeah. I'm saying it wrong, sorry. Like like you're saying Demi is on like... <laughs> yeah, Demo Dogs. Yeah. Demi so more. what do you say? De you don't say Demi Gorgon? You say it's Demo. Demo. Like, demo I say like, it's like a, with like a, like a UH pronunciation. I, I, I mean, honestly, maybe it's supposed to be demo Gorgon, but I, I don't think people literally like pronounce the O as hard. I'm going to be a bad uncle right now. I'm going to blame Elijah, dog. Because when I ever... So before I even knew about this show, right? Again, he would say de like Demi Gorgon, right? Like when he was a baby, like younger. He's like, it's the, is the Demi Gorgon in it? And I was like, what is a Demi Gorgon, blood? You know, and then, he, and then I found out it's from Stranger Things. So that's why I say Demi Gorgon, bro. So it's Demi Gorgon, right? So whatever. But it was cool that they... They wrapped up the Russia storyline. I don't. I don't feel like it was like. I don't. I don't. I hope they didn't wrap it up because they didn't really explain anything. Yeah, they really didn't. Well, I'm glad that this. It felt like they wrapped it up for season four, not yeah. like the full wrap up. But it was like, okay, cool, right? Because now you're gonna have to explain how the Russians got them, bro. You know what I mean? How the fuck did the Russians get that? And, and I get they already had. They were already in Hopkins, right? So you can kind of like piece together a little bit of what's going on, but. I don't know. I, so it kind of bothered me that like they didn't really show anybody else's reaction to Eddie dying. Not only did they have the like babies and like multiple Demogorgons, they had the fucking mind flare in the case, like a a cage 
I guess is the right word for it. But they had it locked up. Oh yeah, how? it was the particles, right? Yeah. How did you get that? Like, how do you even capture that? Yeah, that's insane. But when I first saw that, I was like, "Ooh, dude." Well, yeah, because like it didn't break out. Like none of the none of the demogorgons broke out and like hurt that. I don't know. That was like that was cool. I mean, it was cool, right? But like, because mm-hmm. well, they don't even introduce that until season two, and then there's no Russian interaction that I know of, and that's like season, season three, right? And then that they don't understand. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Because you're in the middle of me watching the show, actually. So, you know, mm-hmm. you'd probably, you, you you would probably be more refreshed than any of us, really. I mean, I obviously I watched it, but, like, you are probably more fresh to the details than any of us are. And I guess apparently going back, you can hear the clock, Vecna's clock in certain scenes. And it did kind of look like Vecna was going after Will in episode one of season one. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that kind of looked like... I mean, if they planned that from the day one, this is the writing. I, I'm getting, Again, kudos to the writing, bro, if they planned that. If that was really their plan... Because it does look like Vecna, bro, a little bit. So I was like, oh, okay. I, I can. Well, it, could, it, it passes off for him. I think that at the time they probably didn't plan it, but maybe they did because things line up. And I've been seeing It kind of this... looks like a Demogorgon just by the way it's like, but it also looks like Vecna. And then it unlocks his door from the other side. Like a uh, vicious, you know, hungry Demogorgon is not going to sit there and like walk slowly towards Will and then like unlock his door from the other side of the house I, yeah I like know. yeah no it's and i've been seeing this debate online you people think that that vecna aka number one created the mind flare right but you're saying that he already existed and he did already exist it just wasn't i i, I kind of like, from that manifested scene, as a spider like the particles is the mind flare right oh uh, okay that makes more sense now that, okay now that you say that that makes because I, I, I was assuming that he was inspired by the spider in his house and that he created the mind flare from the spider. No. But that makes more sense now that you the, mentioned the particles. When, when he gets there, the particles were just floating and stuff, mm-hmm. and then he, he touches them, they just form as a spider. So the particles is what... Okay, that makes more sense. I, that I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't think of that, though. That's yeah. cool. That's good. Because people were really debating that. I I, re- I swear, bro. There's like I a mean, whole he created the mind flare we know of because it's the spider-looking thing. Like yeah. He made it into a spider, but... The particles already existed. Like I, it was already a thing in that world. I kind of hope. I kind of low key hope that the mind flare is like the one behind everything. That that because like bro, I think so too, bro. Because if you're saying that he created the mind flare and like the mind flare, I, I thought that if you because we just watched season two, and like the mind flare is like this big fucking godlike, overruling, overpowering like creature and then like now that if you're talking about it being like sort of like a puppet to Vecna it just like kind of makes it not seem as badass and also was there no bad guys in the upside down before Vecna got there that's kind of why I didn't like that either like mm-hmm. to insinuate that he created the mind flare because it's like was there no was there no like big bad in the upside down before you got there like when once you got there is when shit started popping off like I don't believe that mm-hmm. it kind of messes up the lore of the upside down for me like you, the, it should already have been established that like for th- hundreds of thousands of years basically there's been plenty of bad big bads running around in the upside down and now we just unlocked like a way that, to get there or a way for you to create more things with the in it so yeah i mean besides that uh who I, I there's so much you can talk about man like uh I, I really hope for season five. I really want Steve and Nancy to be together, bro. Like, I, I think Jonathan's character is just really boring, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Sorry. I mean, I think they, they made, I, they did make it that way. It seems like on purpose. Cause like in season one and two, Jonathan's like hella dope. Like he's like, you kind of feel for him. Cause he has that like loner, you know, misunderstood vibe to him. People are bullying him. Cause like, will is going through what he's going through. So you kind of like sympathize with Jonathan, but then like in, Season Especially four. in season four, I I can't really remember much of him in season three, but like in season four, like you you just kind of like, he's just like a lazy, unmotivated like stoner, and you're kind of like, yeah, this guy doesn't deserve Nancy, dude. Yeah, and like also like, uh... yeah, also on the flip side, in season one, you kind of want Jonathan and Nancy to be a get together because like they kind of make you not like Steve. Steve's like this douchey jock who like you know, just uh 
really unlikable but then like season two three and four like he's like the the babysitter like savior like cool like they kind of like redeemed him as a character so now you kind of want him to like get redemption in that arc as well and just have him and nancy be back together so i thought I it was know. cool how steve treated robin after she came out to him like he didn't like like exile her or anything like that's still like his friend they yeah their friendship was like really cool in season four like they were there for each other type show you know and uh, you know speaking of someone who hasn't come out yet so obviously will's character they're, they're saying will's character is gay right like obviously yeah not only it, do they insinuate it the actor himself was like when he comes out next season it's gonna be real I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I don't. You know why? Because they didn't make articles and huge, yeah. v- like, like, hey, everybody, look. You know, it's just like, hey, Will's, Will Lux guys, man. It was actually really funny, though, when he was in the car, like, crying, turned away from Mike, and Mike <laughs> just sitting there, like, not looking. Yeah. Like, your bud's over here fucking bawling, dog. He's bawling. Like... <laughs> right and like you weren't looking even jonathan was like in the front seat he was like you know what i mean but like and his speech to will in the pizza shop bro some good brother to brother shit dude i mean hey you know what i mean like that was like that's hard but i was just thinking that right when he did that speech i was like hey there's no way i could say that type of shit to Justin. you know what i mean without it being like an event <laughs> you know what i mean like how do you say what he said to will like, I was thinking that. How do I say that to you with that? I like, bro, like, no one's dying, dog. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. you know, like, remember how me and you talk about the time and place for everything? When would there be a time and place for me to say that to you? Like, hey, dude, what the fuck are you doing? We're yeah, at a barbecue. Yeah, we're at a barbecue. <laughs> like, stop drinking. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I thought that was funny because they didn't seem forced that, that, because you could kind of tell, like, he, that all, especially those last couple episodes that, like, Jonathan, you can tell he knows. I think he knows, dude. And, like, I think he can tell that, like, Will's hurt by that. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was... It wasn't, like, a forced brother-to-brother thing. I don't I think it feels forced either. Yeah, it was Which is kind of, like, our... I don't know about you, but, like, that's kind of, like, my main... Um, problem with how they do these type of things is it all just seems, like, very forced and, like, disingenuine. I don't know the fucking word, bro. It doesn't seem genuine when they do it, but his whole story of like coming out and realizing he's gay and all that kind of stuff it yeah. just seems like it's part of his story yeah like you know and not that again not that you can't have a gay character or anything i just don't i personally don't like when they gets kind of like hey look will's gay we have a gay yeah. character it's they like, which they will do that from what it seems like in season five they'll be like hey will's gay and will will have his coming out moment blah 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 but like what else do you expect because they've spent the last like season plus kind of hinting, hinting at, at that kind of stuff so yeah and i mean like, that's gonna cause a really weird dynamic with him and mike you know like the guy you're in love with and you know you can't he doesn't like guys you know so that'll be a tough one right so but yeah and some stuff that i wanted to get into so for season five who do you think from the main cast will die now i think some main cast cast members have to die I got my money on either Will or Eleven, bro. I think Will or Eleven are gonna die. And if I have my money on both, you think both? I think both of them. I think more will die, but I think Will and Eleven kind of. I think they have to for everything to like just die down. Like Will is connected to this thing, so unless they somehow split Will and the Upside Down from being connected to each other, which I don't see how they can do that. But I think you gotta. I think it's on some Harry Potter shit. Like in order for Voldemort to die, I gotta die. So I think Will Ooh, no, but like you could you could you can kind of say eleven and number one too, like since she's like technically f- like made from him. Mm-hmm. What if like for him to die, she has to die on some Harry Potter? I show. think sh- I think she'll dies in a sense like I gotta like do this in an order. To, you know, how, like Batman like takes a bomb out into the ocean mm-hmm. and like I'm gonna die doing this. I think she's gonna do something along those lines. Where like, hey, I gotta do this to make this go away but it's gonna kill me as well that's gonna be tough to watch bro you know mm-hmm. what i mean do you so do you think they could do a season six in the future without I hope 11 they, i hope they don't without 11 do you think they could do it without 11 especially not 11 though but i hope they don't do a season six even if she survives because i hate when shows like because season four technically was supposed to be their last one is what they said at first and then now they're saying season five is and then if season five is it now they say season six well, I think season five. A is lot of then. people make fun of. Um, I think it's Attack on Titan, which is like an anime show, where like for the last like three or four seasons, 
they kept saying that it's going to be their last and then and it just be so popular it's impossible yeah. I was kind of hoping that for season six, if they ever ended up going back to Stranger Things, um, it'd be like probably 10, 15 years down the line, right? Everybody's older. You know, you could do that, right? Because the upside down, the, who knows what's in the upside down, right? Like, and, I, actually so. don't, I actually don't think they're going to make a six because they're doing the spinoff stuff. So I think that's kind of where they're... Heading with it? I think that's where their time and talent is going to be, is making the spinoff stuff work and successful. Well, since you brought that up, the Duffer Brothers just launched on Netflix um, Upside Down Pictures. So basically it's going to be for spinoffs, a new stage play set within the world and mythology of Stranger Things. The, oh, obviously the spinoff shows that we were just talking about and an original series from the creators. Right, And I heard that the Duffer Brothers were also working on, a, on their take of uh, Death Note. So I don't know if that's involved with Upside Down Pictures, but... And then, okay, so, okay, speaking of uh, spinoffs, like, what kind of spinoff are you thinking, bro? I, I can't think of one. Unless they're going to do the Hawkins Lab, like a spinoff about the That's lab. What and, said. Because what other, besides Hawkins Lab and maybe, like, the Russia storyline, what other spinoff can you think of that would work for Stranger Things, man? I don't, I don't know. Because if they do, because I remember you saying that they should do something with, like, Steve, Robin... And Dustin and all them, yeah. But like then, like that's basically thing, just yeah. like the crew. And if you have members of the crew missing, it doesn't really make it the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, kinda... why would you? Why would you have like members of the crew without everyone being there? I kind of because then they're gonna have to explain why they're not there, and that's just I don't know. That Maybe takes they... time out of the show. I feel yeah. like yeah. I kind of just mentioned this, but you kind of hit Scooby-Doo territory with, like, the whole, like, you know, Dustin, Nancy, Robin, Steve storyline and then that spinoff show. So that, you guys, again, comment below, guys. What, what, what spinoff show would you like to see from Stranger Things? I'm actually curious because I don't know if you can make a, if they're not doing a season six, no more Stranger Things after this, right? What's the point of a spinoff series? In my opinion, like, why are we doing a spinoff series then if it's not going to lead to something new? Or it doesn't. I don't know. Then that and that's just me. So, and we mentioned. I think. I think we mentioned this earlier. And if I didn't, well, now we did. So, number eight, right? So the the character in the show is Callie Prasad, and uh, she's portrayed by Linnea Berthiansen. I think Berthiansen. Berthiansen. Uh, Berthiansen. Oh. But yeah, so Callie Prasad, she plays number eight in uh, Stranger Things, which she was in season two with the whole weird. Eleven goes off to find her mom and that storyline, which a lot of people didn't like that, bro. Like, a lot of people didn't. But I feel like season four of Stranger Things kind of opened up the return of number eight in season five. Yeah, I think so, too. Now that, now that you've watched it, right? No, well, I didn't know that she was in season four. Like, I didn't think that they made any mention of her. They didn't show her, nothing like that. So I was like, yeah, they're probably just, that character is dead now because they just went two seasons without talking about her. But then you mentioned it last night, and I went to go rewatch it, and he literally does bring up... Number eight? Yeah, he's like, oh, that would have been when eight was still here. So they're acknowledging that she's still, you know, a character in the show. And her powers were pretty good. She was kind of like a really, like, I don't want to say she wasn't an OP character, but her power was pretty fucking good, dude. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you need help defeating Vecna, the number eight can... That power she had was fucking good. But then again, a lot of people don't like her character. And I'm talking about like to the fact where if they even, if she even comes back in season five, people are saying that that's going to ruin the show for them. Like, oh no, if the, if you guys bring back number eight, that ruins the complete whole show for me. So that's kind of like a weird position to be in if you're the writers, right? Like, I think it's just because the way they introduced her, bro. I, Cause I literally just watched that episode last night and like, it just seems like so random and like no, it was. out of left field to like, you're just like, what the fuck is happening? What is all this about? Why, you know, now that you watch season four, it makes it even more confusing because like in season two, she's a grown ass adult. Yeah. <laughs> and 11 is like, like 12 years old. So like, there's obviously an age disparity there, but then like when they show her in season four, like she's a little kid with 11. So like the, you see like inconsistencies. So you're trying to piece it all together why you know it just maybe they thought it was a cool character at the time but they just they, didn't know what to do with her yeah well i brought this question up to you yesterday and i'll bring it up again now is it worse for them to completely forget that eight exists in the world of stranger things still or nah, they're not going to because they just brought her up in season four 
I know, but then like you have the whole like it's gonna ruin the show for me, people. So like that's what I was saying. It I think it'd be worse if you don't bring her back. If you just forget that her character exists, that's that's even more bad writing, in my opinion. That's that's even worse to forget that she exists, right? Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to say to yourself, okay, yeah, we're gonna bring her back, and we understand there's gonna be fans who don't like this. They don't want this. It's yeah, gonna that's you probably know, what'll happen. But we kind of have to because not only is she connected to the lab, which would mean she's connected to Vecna. But we did bring her up by name in number four, and we did show her in the flashback. So that's a possibility. I think you mentioned something about like it kind of looks think if like. They, I think if they were gonna just completely kill off her character and forget about her, they wouldn't have done that in season four. They would they wouldn't have mentioned her and show her, anything. but they did. So that means that they probably just left the door open if she was gonna return. So they're gonna be like, "Hey, we need help defeating Vecna. How do we do it?" And then Eleven's like, "I know." And then it's gonna be like, you know. Then Kali Prasad's character is going to be like, hey. Or like maybe, I don't know, maybe they'll, s I think you had a good idea is like one of them will see each other on TV and be like, oh, wow, this person's still alive doing their thing. Let's reconnect. Well, with the thing happening in Hawkins now, there is no way the world doesn't know, bro. Like this yeah. is going to be worldwide news, which would probably catch the attention of eight, eight travels to Hawkins. Let me help you destroy Vecna because I'm from here. I'm from the lab. You know, and then her power, like I said, her power was super cool, bro. So, like, you can, in in a sense, it does kind of, like, you mentioned this yesterday, it kind of does make them, like, the X-Men, which there is no way you weren't going to be able to avoid that if, like, multiple of the people from the lab survived. It was going to be X-Men-ish type, like... But yeah, if they can do it right, I don't mind number eight returning. But like again, like that was such a weird, like, side story for season two that never got brought up again really until four... That if they they can do it right, but if they don't, it's like you have the potential to not ruin the show, but it kind of seems like convoluted at this point. If like you can't do it correctly, and you bring her in, and then people is like, I don't want to watch this anymore. I, I don't think people wouldn't watch, but it definitely would be like weird to just randomly. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's probably what's gonna happen, bro. I think that whatever is happening in Hopkins Hopkins is so big. That she's gonna see it on the news wherever she's living at. And she'll be like, oh, 11. Yeah. And I need to help my sister and that type of stuff. Yeah. And I think that's probably how they're gonna bring her back into the show instead of like 11, like reaching out to her. It's gonna be, you know. And do you think, do you think Max is gonna stay dead next season? Like, no. do you think, like, because when 11 tried to find her, Max wasn't there, right? So I'm assuming like Max is either trapped in Vecna's brain or his mind or trapped in the upside down whatever however they're gonna put this i'm like yeah like well, you can't have max in a coma all season five like i really hope that's not what they do bro can you have max in a coma all season five like i don't think you would want to do that right like yeah just have sadie oh, also, sink in a fucking sadie sinks just in all season like in a coma but like, even if she lives she was basically like blind no yeah, and she couldn't, like, feel. Yeah, like, she she had her, you know, her eyes were basically almost ripped out. Her bones were broken, and she was like, I can't see. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting, I guess. Yeah, you guys comment below. Would you want to see number eight return? And if she does, would that ruin the show for you? Anything else we talked about? Yeah, comment below. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about the show, because I love Stranger Things. The writing is phenomenal. Like, I, I wish other shows would, like, would pretend to even want to do that level of writing because, like, you know, them, then everything is not, like... Can you imagine they hire people for the Stranger Things spinoff? I don't even watch the show. I don't know what the Stranger Things is about, but, like, hey, let's make a spinoff. Like, yeah, some fucking drunk guy in a Hawaiian shirt with, like, a backwards hat and, like, a fucking podcast headphones on, like... Yeah, bro, let's just make a spinoff, but... Yeah, that was uh, our review of Season 4, guys. And I can't wait till Season 5, so... Catch you next time, guys. Peace.